and then we're going to climb up here. Okay. We're going to do these two and then make it back to the car. All right. All right. It's going to take us 16 hours. Yeah. So we want to thank the Scorba. Okay. Thanks, Scorba. People. A little chilly here in Georgia this morning at what? 40 something degrees. Yep. Take Great Wall Street. Okay. Oh, there's nice signage. I wonder if we're going to be climbing up the wall. Yeah. Ha! Today we are riding the Forks Area Trail Systems, also known as FATS, in McCormick County, South Carolina. This trail system is situated in the southern section of the Long Crane Ranger District of the Sumter National Forest. The Forks Area Trail System caters specifically to avid mountain bikers. This trail system is made up of six interconnected loops accessible from different points. The trail system offers a total of 34 miles for hiking and biking. This trail is the Great Wall Trail. It is a two mile loop and is described on trail forks as the most well-rounded trail at Fats with a little bit of everything. This stretch of trail reinforced with concrete armor is the reason behind the name Great Wall. Difficult, easy. Left is difficult. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. No idea what they, yeah. Maybe it was over that route. Oh, what's this? I don't know. Stay right. I wonder if it was just that little um, root. I don't know. This trail is about five miles long and has a decent amount of climbing. However, with those climbs, you get some really fun descents. Deep Step gets his name from a popular fishing hole in the nearby Savannah River. Big Rock is about 3.7 miles long and is one of the northern trails on the Forks area trail systems. The other northern trail loop is Tower, in which we did not get a chance to ride as we were running low on time. Both Big Rock and Tower are said to have a different feel from the southern loops. Um, the terrain is said to be steeper and the ground is a little bit rockier. My take on the fork area trail system, for what it's worth, the trails are easy to navigate. Well marked with signage and map kiosk at major intersections. I did not find it particularly technical, especially in the southern trails. Um, you could even tackle them with a gravel bike if you were up for it. Um, expect a fair amount of climbing, however, but it's balanced by enjoyable and flowy descents. Until next time, revel in the ride and keep those pedals turning.